Hello and welcome back to our channel. I'm Colleen and this is Our Blessed Life. And today I'm gonna to talk about how I very quickly schedule homeschool lessons using Homeschool Planet. So I'm gonna be showing you how I very quickly and easily scheduled Sophie's Social Studies and Science for next year, 2020 to 2021 school year. Um, this is what she's going to be using for science and social studies for second grade. And I'm gonna show you how I scheduled all of her lesson plans using Homeschool Planet. And it took me probably less than 20 minutes to do both of them. So I wanna show you that really quickly and that's what we're going to be doing in today's video. This video is not sponsored, but I do have a, an affiliate link in the description box below, which gets you a 30 day free trial of Homeschool Planet if you would like to try it out yourself. Okay, so this is the book that I'm gonna use to show you how I schedule a class in Homeschool Planet. So this is Sophie's Science um, for next year, the 2020-2021 the school year. We're going to be doing God's Design, um, Life for Beginners, and it has three units, Plants, the Human Body, and Animals. And so I'm gonna just show you these units and kind of how they're set up. I'll show you the schedule and then I'll show you how I go ahead and schedule that really quickly. So the first unit is plants and you can see, or the first like section is plants and you can see that it's got six units with 35 lessons. Then we move to human body and it's got, um, let's see, another six units with 35 lessons and then animals for beginners it's got another six units with 35 lessons. This is their suggested schedule. So they're suggesting three days a week and they have it broken down by what to do. And they refer to that as day one, two, and three. And then notice that some days don't have anything. So a lot of times when I use Masterbooks curriculum, I just set it up as day one, day two, that kind of thing within Homeschool Planet. But I'm not sure that I wanna do that in this case because some of the days have nothing on there, so there's really no point in putting those in. So I'm going to try to figure out if I could do it differently, like maybe just do Unit 1, Lesson 1, like that. Um, it does look like when I'm looking at the schedule that they do a lesson in a day. So this is Lesson 4, Lesson 5, Lesson 6, 7, and 8. The only thing that doesn't seem to be done during one day is that they seem to be splitting out the vocabulary review into a second day. I'll probably just combine that. That's in lesson 10. It's just kind of at the end of lesson 10. So I'm probably going to just do it as three units with 35 lessons and I'm probably going to do this as three days a week. So the first thing that I would do is I would actually go up here to settings and I would go to subjects and categories and then I would add a new subject. If you are brand new to Homeschool Planet and you have not been using it, then you would want to add science as a subject. So you do add a new subject and it puts it down here. You're just going to type the name of the subject and then choose a color. I'm going to delete that because I don't need that. All right, now I'm going to come in here and I want to do science every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So I'm going to choose every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'm going to start on June 17th and this is going to be science. This is gonna be, um, oops. Okay, so this is God's Design for Life for Beginners, and this is for only Sophie, so I'm gonna check Sophie. All right, and so what I want to do is I want to do an easier way instead of typing all of these in one by one I want to go to more options here and I have a specific number of assignments um, is the one that I'm going to pick because I have 35 lessons in unit one so the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to say that I have 35 assignments I want to do one per day and I don't want to skip any days so unit one plants and um, and then I'm just going to put lesson and then what it's going to do is it's going to have these brackets and then it's going to count 1 through 35. So unit 1 plants lesson 1 through 35 and it's going to this is going to end on Wednesday, September 30th. So I'll hit OK. 
and it's going to go ahead and add those to the calendar. All right. So the only thing I did wrong here is I don't like these to be timed. There's really no reason for this to be timed. So I'm going to go back and hit edit and just uncheck track hours because I don't need to track hours there. Okay, so now my first 35 assignments are done. Now I'm going to click on the same science class that I just added and I'm going to add my next unit. And so I want to start it on, um, on October 2nd. I'm going to go back here. I'm going to do the specific number of assign assignments but no specific end date. All right, so I'm going to start on October 2nd. There's 35 assignments. I want one assignment on each day. And unit two is the human body. And then I'm going to put, um, all right, and now I'm going to come back down here and look at my last day. Okay, so January 27th is my next day to do. I'm going to come in here again and do more options. I'm going to click the same thing I've been doing. I want to start on January 27th. I have 35 assignments. I want one each day. I don't want any days between. I want them on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And I'm going to call it Unit 3 Animals. I'm going to write the word lesson, and now it's going to schedule 35 lessons. Okay, and this is the history book that I'm using for Sophie. This is the table of contents, but I wanted a little bit more information on my calendar, so I chose to write down the unit names and then um, the reading, the individual reading name. So there's a lot of different ways that you can do this, just depending on how much detail, but um, you also could just divide this by number of pages. Okay, so for the last class, I'm actually going to um, just show you what I did rather than do this with you here. So I'm going to go into the history class, and I showed you how the table of contents looks. Um, first of all, there's not a ton of assignments. I'm doing it only once a week, every Thursday, and I'm starting in June, and it's going to end, let's see, it's going to end on May 6th, it looks like. So it's ending on May 6th. I've got, just to finish it out that week, I decided to put two that week. So on this one, I decided that I wanted a little bit more information. So I wanted the name of the unit and then the reading instead of just putting page numbers. So that's how I chose to do this. This did take me a little bit more time because I needed to type all of this in. Um, I think it was only 39 assignments, so it wasn't that really that hard. But I do want to show you a shortcut that you could do here to save some time. You could choose, I have a long reading that I want broken up over a range of dates. And then if you do that, then you can choose the beginning and end date. And, um, and this is 39 assignments, the way I have it. So you can choose the number of days that you want. Then put in your page numbers. It's 175 pages starting on page 1. All right. And then it will tell you how many pages you need to read each day. So we could have done that. We could have just said, we could have titled this um, Abeka R America, and then it would just say the pages to read. And then that way you can assign the whole year in literally like three minutes. I just chose to put a little bit more time into it because I wanted my um, calendar to have to look like this. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time.